Sergeant Stephen Simmons and Amid Ademolo, a registered nurse, spend hours walking up and down train platforms. Their goal, to find people who need help, the most seriously mentally ill people who are using the subway as shelter. They are part of two new teams, a partnership between the city and state known as SCOUT, where MTA police and mental health professionals team up to hopefully get people care. You need to go to the hospital? No, you're okay? They are looking for the most serious cases, people who are a danger to themselves or others. So we're looking for deterioration in mental health, physical health, and uh, like I said, we, we see them every day, every week, we monitor from the week before, and if they do fit that, they are a harm to themselves or others, then we will remove them. Your one was able to tag along. You take care of yourself, all right? Yes, all the best. An exclusive first look at what they do. For the most part, you see a good, a good five or six of the same clients every day. I've never seen them before now. Train by train. You need any services? Person by person. They search for the neediest cases. They convince two people at the South Ferry Station to accept services. He's going to take services. So what Amid does is he coordinates either a safe haven or a shelter for him to go to, and he'll call transportation. Then they wait for about an hour to take them to shelter. And then on to the next station. Fulton Street. They try to engage again. It's not so successful. So he told me, mm -mm. and then he gave me the sign, don't want to be buttered, I'm walking away. So with that being said, even though he's not, you know, he didn't really tell me verbally, but he gave me a clue that it's a nonverbal clue. At that point, I had to back off. And Uptown Express. Since the program's inception in the fall, the team has placed more than 100 people. 77 of them have gone to shelter, 20 have voluntarily gone to the hospital for medical care, Another 16 have involuntarily been sent to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. MTA officials say the involuntary aspect of the program is what makes it different. The goal is to get the most troubled, most troubling people out of the subway and into whatever the most appropriate care for them is. If that means an involuntary psychiatric transport, then we're not going to hesitate to do that. So far, even in its infancy, Officials say this program is working. They plan to expand it by up to 10 teams by the end of next year. Our trip this week was described the same way. It was a fabulous day today because we were actually able to place two guys. It is very, very easy for, you know, the general public to, to judge them. And, and what we try to do we try to stay away from a stereotypical impression. Uh, so we address everyone with, uh, you know, open mindsets, and we try to, you know, help them as best as we can. Courtney Gross, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.